The United Nations Economic and Social Council (ECOSOC, French: Conseil Économique et Social des Nations Unies, CESNU) is one of the five principal organs of the United Nations, responsible for coordinating the economic, social, and related work of 15 UN specialized agencies, their functional commissions, and five regional commissions. The ECOSOC has 54 members. The General Assembly selects 18 new members for ECOSOC each year for the term of three years with a provision that a retiring member can be re-elected. It holds one seven-week session each year in July, and since 1998, it has also held an annual meeting in April with finance ministers heading key committees of the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund IMF. ECOSOC serves as the central forum for discussing international economic and social issues and formulating policy recommendations addressed to member states and the United Nations system. A number of non-governmental organizations have been granted consultative status to the Council to participate in the work of the United Nations. President The president is elected for a one-year term and chosen from the small or mid-sized powers represented on the ECOSOC. Inga Rhonda King was elected 74th president of ECOSOC on 26 July 2018. Ambassador King is currently the ambassador and permanent representative of St. Vincent and the Grenadines to the United Nations in New York. Members. <laughs> <laughs> The Council has 54 member states out of the 193 UN member states, which are elected each year by the United Nations General Assembly for overlapping three-year terms. Seats on the Council are based on geographical representation with 14 allocated to African states, 11 to Asia-Pacific states, 6 to East European states, 10 to Latin American and Caribbean states and 13 to West European and other states. Current Previous Topic. Observer Intergovernmental Autonomous Organizations Participation on a Continuing Basis African Regional Center of Technology Asian and Pacific Development Center Asian Productivity Organization Council of Arab Economic Unity Global Water Partnership Helsinki Commission Inter-American Institute for Cooperation on Agriculture Intergovernmental Forum on Mining, Minerals, Metals and Sustainable Development Intergovernmental Institution for the Use of Micro-Algae Spirulina Against Malnutrition, IIMSAM International Association of Economic and Social Councils and Similar Institutions International Center for Public Enterprises in Developing Countries International Center for Genetic Engineering and Biotechnology World Safety Forum Global Safety Summit India Islamic Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization Latin American Energy Organization Organization of Ibero-American States Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries Regional Organization for the Protection of the Marine Environment Union des Conseils Économiques et Sociaux Africains Economic Community of West African States World Deserts Foundation World Tourism Organization Participation on an ad hoc basis African Accounting Council African Cultural Institute Arab Security Studies and Training Center Council of Arab Ministers of the Interior International Bauxite Association International Civil Defense Organization Latin American Social Sciences Institute Topic Functional Commissions UN Commission for Social Development UN Commission on Human Rights UNCHR disbanded 2006 replaced by the United Nations Human Rights Council UNHRC a subsidiary organ of the General Assembly Commission on Narcotic Drugs Commission on Crime Prevention and Criminal Justice Commission on Science and Technology for Development CSTD 
Commission on Sustainable Development (CSD) disbanded 2013, replaced with High-Level Political Forum on Sustainable Development, a joint subsidiary body of the General Assembly and ECOSOC. UN Commission on the Status of Women (UNCSW). The UN Commission on the Status of Women formally became a functional commission of the Economic and Social Council on the 21st of June 1946. The UN Commission on the Status of Women is a global intergovernmental body dedicated to promoting gender equality, and empowering women. Originally, the proposal for the Council was turned down with the thought that the Commission on Human Rights would be sufficient to deal with women's issues. Eventually at the urging of the then Danish delegate, Bottle Begtrip, the Commission on the Status of Women was formed as a freestanding functional commission, dedicated specifically to women's issues, in 1946. Bottle Begtrip went on to become the first chair of the Commission on the Status of Women. The Commission on the Status of Women engages with the Commission on Human Rights and serves as a lobby specifically for women, often working closely with women's NGOs. The Commission was initially focused on women's rights to equality, gradually shifting to a focus on issues of women's education, social status, political equality etc. Commission on Population and Development UN Statistical Commission United Nations Forum on Forests Topic Regional Commissions United Nations Economic Commission for Europe ECE United Nations Economic Commission for Africa ECA United Nations Economic Commission for Latin America and the Caribbean ECLAC United Nations Economic and Social Commission for Asia and the Pacific ESCAP United Nations Economic and Social Commission for Western Asia ESCWA Topic Specialized Agencies These specialized agencies are autonomous organizations working with the United Nations and each other inter alia through the coordinating machinery of the Economic and Social Council. International Labor Organization Food and Agriculture Organization United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization World Health Organization World Bank Group International Bank for Reconstruction and Development IBRD International Development Association IDA International Finance Corporation IFC Multilateral Investment Guarantee Agency MIGA International Center for Settlement of Investment Disputes ICSID International Monetary Fund IMF International Civil Aviation Organization ICAO International Maritime Organization IMO International Telecommunication Union ITU Universal Postal Union UPU World Meteorological Organization WMO World Intellectual Property Organization WIPO International Fund for Agricultural Development IFAD United Nations Industrial Development Organization UNIDO United Nations World Tourism Organization UNWTO Topic Other related entities mechanisms and processes Financing for development the Monterey Consensus and Doha Declaration Development Cooperation Forum United Nations Permanent Forum on Indigenous Issues UNPFII Sessional and Standing Committees Expert, Ad Hoc and Related Bodies United Nations International Children's Emergency Fund UNICEF. United Nations Interagency Task Force on the Prevention and Control of NCDs UNIATF. International Federation for Family Development has general consultative status World Economic and Social Survey 2011, The Great Green Technological Transformation In a report issued in early July 2011, the UN called for spending nearly US$2 trillion on green technologies to prevent what it termed, a major planetary catastrophe, warning that 
It is rapidly expanding energy use, mainly driven by fossil fuels, that explains why humanity is on the verge of breaching planetary sustainability boundaries through global warming, biodiversity loss, and disturbance of the nitrogen cycle balance and other measures of the sustainability of the Earth's ecosystem." UN Secretary-General Ban Ki-moon added. Rather than viewing growth and sustainability as competing goals on a collision course, we must see them as complementary and mutually supportive imperatives." The report concluded that, "...business as usual is not an option." <laughs> Reform of the Economic and Social Council Governance of the multilateral system has historically been complex and fragmented. This has limited the capacity of ECOSOC to influence international policies in trade, finance and investment. Reform proposals aim to enhance the relevance and contribution of the Council. A major reform was approved by the 2005 World Summit on the basis of proposals submitted by Secretary-General Kofi Annan. The summit aimed to establish ECOSOC as a quality platform for high level engagement among member states and with international financial institutions, the private sector, and civil society on global trends, policies, and action. It was decided to hold biennial high level development cooperation forums at the national leadership level by transforming the high level segment of the Council to review trends in international development cooperation and promote greater coherence in development activities. At the summit it was also decided to hold annual ministerial level substantive reviews to assess progress in achieving internationally agreed development goals particularly the Millennium Development Goals. These annual ministerial reviews will be replaced by the high-level political forum from 2016 onwards after the new post-MDG, post-2015 sustainable development goals are agreed. Subsequent proposals by the high-level panel report on system-wide coherence in November 2006 aimed to establish a forum within the ECOSOC as a counter-model to the exclusive clubs of the G8 and G20. The forum was to comprise 27 heads of state L27, corresponding to half of ECOSOC's membership to meet annually and provide international leadership in the development area. This proposal, however, was not approved by the General Assembly. Chamber design The Economic and Social Council Chamber in the United Nations Conference Building was a gift from Sweden. It was conceived by Swedish architect Sven Markelius, one of the eleven architects in the international team that designed the UN headquarters. Wood from Swedish pine trees was used in the delegates' area for the railings and doors. The pipes and ducts in the ceiling above the public gallery were deliberately left exposed, the architect believed that anything useful could be left uncovered. The unfinished ceiling is a symbolic reminder that the economic and social work of the United Nations is never finished, there will always be something more which can be done to improve living conditions for the world's people. See also Consultative status List of organizations with consultative status to the United Nations Economic and Social Council Copenhagen Consensus French Economic and Social Council European Economic and Social Committee EU. Hard choices, moral dilemmas in humanitarian intervention International Court of Justice International Hydrological Program UN General Assembly UN Secretariat UN Security Council UN Trusteeship Council UN Department of Economic and Social Affairs Union of International Associations Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics <laughs>